Hello, my name is Nick Phelps. I am an assistant professor with the College of Veterinary Medicine. I grew up in northern Minnesota, hence my interest in all things related to fish. While I do a lot of things at the CVM, um, one of my big research focuses though are on emerging threats to Minnesota fisheries and aquatic ecosystems. My current research project um, is on the viral hemorrhagic septicemia virus. And like any of the other invasive species, the center is working on zebra mussels, Asian carp, milfoil. VHSV is another emerging threat to Minnesota's fisheries and environment. And as the name describes, the virus causes hemorrhaging in the fish, essentially causing the fish to bleed out, resulting in nasty lesions and major mortality. And this happens in some of our most important fish species here in Minnesota, like our walleye, muskie, and bass. It was first found in 2003 in the Great Lakes, and has since become one of um, our biggest fish health concerns for the region. There's no doubt about that. We have a unique opportunity here in Minnesota to do something before the virus becomes established. With the support of the center, uh, we have a project going on right now to look for this virus on Minnesota waters. Early detection, like anything else, is going to be important or essential to control and management. It's our goal to keep VHS out of the state, but heaven forbid it does show up, um, we want to be ready for it, and this type of project is allowing us to do that. Emerging diseases are invasive species. They move the same way with natural or human routes of transmission. Management and control programs are very similar. And they can, like invasive species, inflict irreversible harm on Minnesota environments. But ultimately, this project, like the others in the center, are, is using a science-based approach um, to better prepare the state for yet another emerging threat. The immense support of the public, the management agencies, the legislature, and other funding sources has been really inspirational to us on the research side. Uh, we do this because we're passionate about it, but it's great to know that we're going to make a difference here in Minnesota to people's lives, uh, not only our current supporters, but for future generations to come.